หายเออเออเออ it is sometime like nine thirty ish Wednesday I have no clue what the date is. I think it's the 21st, but I don't really know. I haven't even left my house yet, and I'm already having autistic meltdown, so that's great. <laughs> um, I should actually do the intro. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Chronically Canine. I am Anne Marie. I am a service dog handler, dog trainer, and reactive dog owner, and chronically ill, disabled, autistic, mentally ill person. I am traveling to California. Um, I uh, run a dog training company that specializes in service animals. Um, that and we uh, serve the entire U.S. Um, and I have a client um, who is getting a service dog puppy um, from my program, and so I'm flying out to California to pick the dog up from the breeder, and then flying the dog to flying the dog to the other part of California and staying with the handler and the dog for a week to get them all settled in, help out with the dogs and the puppy things, and um, get some training in with one of my other uh, dogs that she owns um, that I train. Um, so yeah, I've been working since 10 a.m. and it's almost 10 p.m. and I just got home. I had to drive two hours away to do a session with a client and then drive two hours back. And I also had sessions this morning. And two of the sessions were with young puppies. So I am exhausted. So. Um, but yeah. So right now I'm just packing and get everything uh, done up. And yeah, I figured I wasn't going to start this vlog until tomorrow morning. But I figured that... Um, I should vlog the whole process. Um, so this is mostly going to be like traveling with autism and chronic illnesses um, and everything. But uh, but yeah. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm already I have really bad brain fog if you can't tell. So I'm gonna go. If anything else exciting happens, I'll let you know. But um, yeah, I'm going to finish packing and try and get some sleep because I have to leave my house at 3 a.m. I went to Starbucks on my way home, got, they didn't have a paint drink, I wanted a paint drink, but they'll be closed when I leave in the morning, um, and obviously there might be Starbucks in the airport, but I'm not taking my chances on there being or not, but anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and, uh, I will update you probably tomorrow, I don't really know. It is 3.37 a.m. I KT to my knee and my knees. We packed a different bag that has a stain on it because it has a makeup stain on it. But I don't have anything else, so that's just what's gonna have to happen. I'll have to get have to buy a new backpack because I can't get the piece now the old one. But, uh, yeah. We're in Twilight and some Adidas joggers, so... Let's just hope I don't get lost in the airport. <laughs> but anyway, so far, so good. Got up, braided my hair, did my makeup. Kichi taped my knees, got dressed. I don't think there's anything else. I hope that there's not anything else. Um, one thing I do need to invest in, though, are some good noise canceling headphones for autism purposes but other than that i think i'm good so So, I'm heading to my terminal now. I think I'm good. 
I think I'm gonna make it. Uh, TSA was really stressful, but it actually wasn't really that bad at all. Um, I got through, no issues. Um, I didn't even have to take my necklace off. But I thought I was gonna have to do that, so. Yeah, I'm all stressed, but it's okay. We are making it. We are chucking along, so. Uh, yeah. So far, um, very anxiety inducing at the beginning, but not too bad now, so. Hey guys, so I'm waiting for my flight right now. Um, and yeah, I'm stressed, but it's fine. Anyway, figuring things out. All right, we're bored. Guys, okay, so one autistic meltdown later, we are, yeah, um, yeah, we're having some issues with the whole rental car thing, which has been just great, um, and of course, because I'm autistic, I don't, like, my emotions don't track, like, normal reactions with me, so yeah, I just had a whole meltdown in the middle of the airport, but that's fine. My mom is trying to figure it out, but yeah, so welcome to the life of disability and this crap. Um, yeah, their, their system um, uh, basically will not let them put anything under 20 um, down as age, and I'm 19, and so that caused an issue, but anyway, um, I am to get mentally exhausted. I really, really wish I had my wheelchair, but I'm also not willing to risk it getting broken. So, sad things we have to, or sad sadness that we have to take, but 
Um, if I do ever take it, it will definitely be a situation where I, um, it would be a situation where I bought a second seat for it, as like stupid as that sounds, I know, like, that's the only way it's gonna happen, because I will not let people, like, like, mess up my chair, it's just not gonna happen, so, yeah, anyway, good times, um, but yeah, so, I am, was already physically exhausted, so, I guess I should catch you up, so I got off the flight, um, and, figured it took me forever to find the rental car area. I had to take like a billion trains. One of the trains broke down, so we all had to get off and wait for the other train to come. Um, other train finally came, got on, finally got here. I had to weave down like a billion flights of escalators, and then finally found it. Stood in line for um, about an hour-ish plus, um, and finally get to the front of the line, we, my mother spent literally all day on the phone yesterday confirming with AAA and Hurt Mental Cars that this was something that they allowed. She expressed them specifically, I am under the age of 21, or under the age of 21, I am 19 years old, I am not 20, I am 19, they confirmed that they allow un, up to, like, they allow 18 year olds and up to rent if you have a AAA membership and all this stuff and we get here and their system is messed up and basically denied it all so and i and the uber situation really does not work very well so yeah i'm kind of screwed right now um and my brain is not handling it very well um so yeah I'm really stressed right now but it's fine um but to his life with autism and shitty situations. So anyway, I'm still at the airport um, at SFO. Um, up, in, up to this point, my day has been pretty good. I had a, I had a pretty good flight, um, other than having issues with my stupid Wi-Fi. But I think I figured it out now. I hope. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, good times. Um, yeah, I'm stressed. Stressed and starting to go into sensory overload. And, um, yeah, would like to go take a nap because I got like two hours of sleep last night. So, a nap sounds really nice. But anyway, um, yeah, basically that's where we are so far i will update you guys as time goes on i look like shit now um but yeah so hopefully my mom's trying to call around and find some place um i really can't physically wait in line again that long but at this point i don't even care i'm just i just want to get to the hotel and i really don't want to open apart from a lot of different reasons um but uh yeah, so hopefully we figure something out soon because I am I need to go. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Yay! As of now I will update you when I know something else. Other than that, um yeah, I like this shit. Welcome to the shit show. Okay, bye. Currently 122 PM. Um have not eaten or drank anything, basically, or I haven't eaten anything today, except for a tiny bag of rough tools on the plane. And I've only drank in a can of Sprite and a grande drink from Refresher, so, yeah. Yay. Children of the Lord. I am finally in my hotel room. Uh, I don't know if this chair can go. Oh, it can! Oh, thank God. Okay. I have so much shit to tell you. Okay. So, um, basically, everything up until starting the process for the rental car was absolutely phenomenal. No complaints. I had no issues in Atlanta. I got through security real, real, in a very timely manner. 
the security agents were pretty really nice like I didn't have any issues with them they were really sweet they did their thing took me literally less than a, like five minutes to get through the actual TSA portion no 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 complaints right I get on the flight I am on my window seat which I did choose I always choose a window seat I am on my window seat. I am enjoying the beautiful scenery, right? Being able to look at my window. In fact, I probably spent the majority of the fight looking at the window instead of actually like watching the shows or whatever I was watching. That's besides the point. Anyway, so all of that, all, all of that goody, beautiful, good stuff, right? All the good things. Okay, so there's that. Did that. I got seated next to the sweetest old man who didn't speak to me until the ver until we were landing. And he was really sweet, he was a vet, he was really nice. He's telling me all about how he's going to Vancouver. And the last time he was here, he was he was shipping out for, for Vietnam. Um, he was really sweet, he's going up to see his niece in Vancouver, who I think is a teacher. He is a guy, he, he does clown stuff, is his career, he's a clown. And he does clown stuff in Atlanta, Georgia. I was like, man, you are a really nice old man. Kind of wish I'd talked to him the whole flight, but also I get the feeling that he probably wouldn't have let me sit still. He was really sweet though. I didn't have any issues. We didn't have anyone in the seat between us, which means we both got the space that we needed. We were all good. Lovely flight other than, other than the Wi-Fi wouldn't work. I could not get the Wi-Fi to work. Other than that, it was a beautiful day. Uh, we landed smooth landing you never have that in san francisco apparently we were all good i was on a roll i was doing good i was feeling good then we had to start walking around my back started hurting me really bad but i was like it's fine we're gonna we're gonna go get that rental car leave no problems 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 people there were problems so yeah we get there, and even though we literally spent hours on the phone with AAA and Hertz rental cars, um, and they approved and said, yes, we absolutely will take you because you're 19 years old. We will let you rent a car um, through AAA. That is part of the AAA thing, blah, 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 blah. Get there, you're not 20, you can't do it. Yes, I can, no, you can't. Yes, I can, no, I can't. Yes, I can, no, I can't. Anyway. Went through all that, system would not let them put me in my name. So, I didn't have a rental car. I'm stranded at the airport, and I am in good autistic fashion, having a full ass meltdown in the corner of the airport, because um, number one, I'm on my period, and my life is fucking shit, and I only have very minimal products, and I cannot go out to go, to go get things. It just, I, I just can't. Like, I, I'm not gonna walk around. I look, I'm shocked I didn't get murdered walking into my hotel. It's a nice hotel. I'm not complaining. The downstairs is a little sketchy, but the rooms seem nice. They're clean. They smell fresh. So, no complaints there. Anyway, I full on, I'm still post autistic meltdown. I have function, brain function not it i i can no longer exist um but other than that we are all good all peachy all fine couldn't get the rental car i'm stuck at the airport things are not good anymore Me full mental breakdown autistic meltdown crying in the airport and then the lady comes over, oh, we're gonna help you. Leaves, never comes back. I never saw that lady again. She was really nice, but I was like, don't don't tell me you're gonna help me if you're, if you're not. She disappeared, never saw her again. So after standing in line in the stupid ass Hertz thing, Hertz line for a good solid hour and a half, I haven't eaten anything, by the way, which I think I've already told you. I've had almost no food or, or liquid today. So that's, I'm just hitting that real strong already. Um, I am already, I am physically exhausted. I am in pain. And when I start getting symptomatic, I get like bitchy and I get really emotional. Anyway, 
doesn't have that on my period, which is also just adds to emotions a little bit. Not as much as most people, but like it does add sometimes. Um, I in the, uh, I, I have the meltdown. Now I'm in sensory overload because my head hurts. Starting to get a headache. My sinuses and allergies have been acting up all day, all day. The air on the plane was so dry. Yeah, anyway, so I still haven't had any water. Um, I, um, so then I sit there, sit there, sit there. And it's, it's finally get to where I'm supposed to go. Or finally, we, we are doing everything. We have tried, every, trying to get every credit card, everything to work, cannot get anything so <sighs> so I'm stuck we have to resort to uber I really did not want to use uber I feel very uncomfortable PTSD really I was gonna get a girl did not get a girl the guy was nice though I gave him a five dollar tip because that's the highest it would let me give him and he was really nice so I was like like I, I, it was fine. It was an okay. Now I'm gonna see if I can DoorDash food to this hotel because I'm starving. Um, other than that, I don't want to move for like ten days. Uh, so I'm gonna DoorDash like extra food so I don't have to like go out tomorrow. I really wanted to go sightsee. I honestly never want to come back to San Francisco again. <laughs> because that's how autistic emotions do things and I can't function and I am stressed out of my mind. Already have a heart murmur, which got, uh, it was induced to be, or yeah, induced to be detectable by my severe stress episode I went through in May and June. Um, I don't, I just, I'm probably gonna have a heart attack, honestly, soon, so. I'm gonna start making a free list that y'all can find of good trainers so that you can <laughs> find a dog trainer when I'm dead. <sighs> anyway, finally, I got, got an Uber driver. He was really nice, which I'm very grateful for. He got my bag for me, everything, so sweet. He was really nice. Did not speak English at all, which I don't have a problem with, but he sent me a message and I was like in whatever, Asian language it was and I was like that's great I have no clue what that says but I just I just found the car I was like yep we're getting in it he like jumped out he was like oh take your bag you took my bag whatever he was like okay let's go he was so sweet he said I hope you have a great day I was like yeah, you too you too because I I need a good day anyway I don't want to go anywhere tomorrow um uh, I have one session and uh that's about it honestly and then I, I'm turning around and leaving um and uh, as much as I want to continue this vlog I really don't know when it's gonna pick back up so you may get bits and pieces throughout my week but it is supposed to be a travel vlog so we're just gonna do it um but this is my first time flying across the country I go to I, I go cross country all the time. I drive to Indiana. I drive, I, I did drive to DC. I will be flying to DC next time I pick up a, a puppy from them. But like, I, I, like I'm saying, like all of these things. And I just, I have never, I haven't flown in a very long time. And it's already hard for me as an autistic person and as a person with like anxiety disorders and whatever, it's already hard for me to branch out and do things when I know that there's no one around to like come save me you know like so this is my first this is the longest I've gone away from home by myself I think the furthest I've gone for sure yeah no for sure the furthest I've gone I live on the other side of the country literally like like width wise not height wise so or length wise I don't even know Moral of the story is, um, today was good and then it was absolute fucking shit. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to cry at least six more times over this just because I am frustrated. I just really hope I can order food. If not, I will starve for the next two days. I'm just stressed. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far and the shit that is my life. I want to show the truth behind it. Um, behind 
being disabled. Specifically autistic because my autism and anxiety are really what affect me the most on these kind of trips. Like other than, of course pain does, but like emotionally, mentally, yeah, I'm, I'm co totally white. I have nothing left to give, so. Anyway. But, I have a king size bed. It looks very uncomfortable, but it's okay. Um, at this point, I sleep is great. Um, I'm going to pop some Grey's Anatomy up on my, on my um, laptop. And I don't think I'm going to leave this room tomorrow because I'm going to try and DoorDash enough food that I can eat dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. Well, I don't need to eat breakfast because they have breakfast, but I need enough that I can eat lunch and dinner here tomorrow as well. So I'm going to order way too much food and it's going to be way too expensive, but at this point, I don't really care. I just don't, so... have the mental capacity to deal with anything. I just hope they have a Taco Bell. At this point, I'll, if I can have some good old Taco Bell, I will order six days worth of Taco Bell and eat it right now. I, I also binge when, I, when I'm stressed. So, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna try and order food and relax and turn, I've already turned the blackout curtains off, I've turned the bathroom light off, I've turned the hallway light off, I'm about to turn all of these lights off. I'm going to prop my computer up with some Grey's Anatomy and freaking take a nap or something. Eat. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I don't, I don't like not being in control of situations and this is really hard. <sighs> anyway, so... I've had enough anxiety and stress. This is, and this is just a fraction of it, and I'm sure it's already affecting my heart. Anyway, good times. So, for all I know, this could be the end of this vlog. I really, I'm just, I'm just hanging on by threads, guys. Anyway, I will, I will maybe update you sometime. But yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I know that I look like crap, but this is the reality. Anyway. So, it is 10 something, almost, I think it's like 10.30, 10.21, forgot there was a clock up there. Um, it is 21, 22, so it's about 10.30 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time here in San Francisco. I woke up about, I woke up about... It's about 8 a.m. here, which is like 11 a.m. Eastern time. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I got up, up probably around like 9-ish, 9.30-ish, probably about 9, I think. I got up and I, um... For, I didn't go to breakfast at all. I could have, but I was just like, mm, I don't really want to get up. So I ate my Panera pizza from last night, and tomorrow I'll get breakfast before I leave. Um, I think I need to leave here at like, um, like 8 a.m. tomorrow. I have to be there at 10. It's about an hour and 30 minutes, so... But, uh, yeah, so, good times. And, yeah, other than that, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm so tired. So tired. It's not even funny. But, uh, yeah, trying to just get everything situated. Um, i just kind of been chilling, watching Grey's Anatomy, eating my food, and just laying in bed with the lights off with it dark. I just turned the light on too. I had to do something with the airline. Um, spent probably like an hour on the phone with the airline trying to get everything situated for the puppy. Um, and yeah. Trying to get everything situated with them 
finally got that figured out. Um, so, um, yeah, so they can't do it as a service dog puppy, um, or service dog in training, because their requirement is that service dog in training has to be four months old. Um, and because they're an airline, they don't have to follow the ADA. Which is also fine because the puppy is not totally test trained. So even though it does have rights with me as a service dog trainer, it's not test trained. So I totally, you know, that's something I totally understand. Um, so anyway, I ended up paying $120 um, for the pet fee from here to LA. So yeah, I am a little nervous about navigating LAX, but it's fine. Um, I just need to get the puppy and get back to the airport and figuring all that stuff out. So, yeah, good times. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping everything goes really smoothly tomorrow. I, I can't do any more hecticness, um, which reminds me, I need to make sure that I charge my earbuds. Not that I don't think I'm going to really be using them because I need to be attentive to the puppy and the flight. Um, so I think that most of the flight's just going to be trying to make sure the puppy's quiet and everything, but, yeah. Other than that, I think that we're good. Um, yeah, I just need to charge my electronics and I have to set the puppy carrier up and make sure that all of the puppy's stuff is basically in the carrier or in bags of the carrier because I can't have two carry-ons. Or I can't have two, like under seat carry-ons. Um, I did get bulkhead, so I'm right in front of a wall. Um, but I can't have, I can't have the two carry-ons I have to have. Um, so, so I have to put my backpack away and basically try and fit everything into that. And then I'm going to have my jacket around my waist so that I have my jacket available. Um, the flight back should be a lot easier since I'm not having to rent a car or doing anything else. Although I do have a layover and I am a little nervous about that. Um, but I am going to do my best to vlog as much of this process as I can just because I feel like it's helpful. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, uh, finally after like two hours, oh, the first person at United hung up on me. And thank God I got transferred to the accessibility desk. She was so sweet and did absolutely everything she could to try and help me. She tried to get it so I didn't have to pay for it, but she couldn't get it because the puppy wasn't four months old. Um, so, yeah, the first guy hung up on me and she was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, it's fine. I just need to know what I'm doing. But other than that, um, yeah, we're doing super good and so, not super good, but we're doing fine. Um... And yeah, I'm just kind of, today I have one session at 1 p.m. this time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so I have, it's only 10.30 here, so I have 2, 11, 12, I have like two and a half hours-ish, so yeah, but we're just chilling. Um, I'm hoping I won't have to DoorDash food again. Um, but if I do, it'll just be for dinner, so it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, today's just gonna be, like, I'm just kind of resting my brain and everything, um, and trying to make sure I have everything figured out for tomorrow, and then I may go ahead and just pre-schedule Ubers for tomorrow to pick up the puppy and then go to the airport. Um, but thankfully, the app, the United app told me, like, where I can do all the stuff and whatnot, so yeah. Thankfully, I am all figured out with that. Um, and other than that, I think that that's it for right now. I'm just kind of chilling watching Grey's Anatomy on my computer. It's gone dark, but but yeah. And I am in an accessible room. Um, it's really not accessible, but it does have. It's a king size bed. And I'm sleeping on it like it's a twin because the springs in the middle are like just jabbing into you. Because that's why I, I was laying in the middle last night and then I was like, I literally have to move because the spring is literally jabbing into me. Um, so that's nice. But, um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it does have like, the doorway is not necessarily super accessible, but it does have like, it does have like a larger area over there. Also, I don't know why the quality is so bad. Um, the the new cameras rely so much on lighting, but I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry in advance. 
Um, and it has a decent amount over here. It's not like the biggest amount, but you can fit a chair there. So it is like mildly accessible. Um, but I definitely wouldn't call it accessible. It does not have an accessible shower, which I was kind of like. It's also on the third floor. Um, and I'm pretty sure accessible rooms are supposed to be on the first. But it's fine. If there were ever a fire, you're just screwed. So thankfully I can walk downstairs. Um, but, but yeah, other than that, it is a nice hotel. It's kind of in a sketchy area of town, but it is decently nice. Um, and all of the, the staff seems super nice. So yeah, other than that, um, I will update you when I have something to update on. I made it to the hotel, guys. I am alive, barely, um, but I did spontaneously order $90 worth of Panera that I can eat for the next two days until I have to leave again on Saturday so that I don't have to leave my room until I have to leave to go pick up the puppy on Saturday. All right, guys, I finally opened the window and turned the lights on. It is 6.48 p.m., uh, which makes it, it was basically 7 p.m., It's like 10 p.m. my time. Thriving. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Yeah, pretty much this has been my domain for all day. Um. I am out of Panera. Officially. And, uh, yeah. So. Yay. Did have to get up and, like, wash my, or like treat my face because it was bothering me and started like breaking out right here and now it hurts and obviously I can't have that um but uh yeah anyway so it seems like it's a nice day outside I don't plan to go out um unless I decide to DoorDash food I decided to eat my salad early um so I may be hungry but uh yeah anyway um, my plan is to, uh, um, get some clean clothes, take a shower, um, I decided to wash my hair. I wasn't going to, but I decided I'm going to because it's kind of feeling greasy and I think that's probably stress related, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so, get some clean clothes, I'm going to kind of make the bed, um, and I need to rearrange my suitcase a little bit um, and get everything ready for puppy pickup tomorrow. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, that's about it. So, so yeah, super, uh, super pumped. I've got to charge my headphones actually while I'm thinking about that. I need to get those out of my bag. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of getting everything adjusted. I found a Taco Bell. I'm kind of annoyed about it because I really wanted that last night and it probably would have been way cheaper, or not probably, it would have been way cheaper if I had just ordered three days worth of Taco Bell instead of ordering three day or, or two days worth of Taco Bell instead of ordering two days worth of that. So I think, yeah, my headphones are not, they're on 94%, but I would like to have them fully charged and then I'll replug my watch in, even though it's at full charge. Um, but yeah, anyway. I've just kind of been lazy for today. I talked to my dad a little bit, talked to my mom a little bit on the phone. Um, I talked to um, one of my friends, um, Sarah, who owns Percy. She's one of my clients, one of my friends. Um, she called me, we chatted. Oh, I felt an earthquake for the first time. Um, it's a really strange feeling. It was a very minor earthquake, wasn't too concerned about it, but it was a very strange feeling. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, minor, minor details. So, yeah, um, so, yeah, it's about 6.53 now, so, just trying to function. So, yeah, I opened the window. It is really pretty outside. Hold on, I'll show you the view. Well, ignore how dirty the window is, but, uh, but yeah, anyway. It's quite nice outside. Oh, I didn't know 
now I can open both of these. But yeah, it's a really beautiful day. Um, I did not realize there were two windows there, though. So we're going to close both of them and pull the window screen shut. Um, it's just like a little pri extra privacy thing. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's a really pretty day outside, um, which is great. Um, and I will, it is cool, uh, definitely chilly. Um, but it's not bad anyway so yeah uh but yeah I'm just going my plan is at least for the night is I've kind of just chilled for the day I feel like I'm a little bit I'm a little bit on or I'm more on this time now because I'm really not tired at all um and I probably should have opened the window I'll lot sooner than I did so that it feels like I'm actually going to sleep when it starts getting dark outside but uh yeah I'm sure I'll be tired after everything um but I feel kind of gross now that I've been literally laying it down all day I did have one session it went really well um but yeah talk to some people on the phone all the good things um but uh but yeah so I uh I still, my KT tape is still going strong, so that's fun. Um, I, going strong as in, like, it's starting to come off, but it's held up. I didn't do it tight, like, I, I so I usually do it super, super tight. I did not do it tight this time, um, specifically because I needed it to be, you know, flexible. Because when I do it tight, I can't, like, it, it hurts if I pull my knees like this, like, if I angle my knees really tight, and I needed it to be comfy for that so um yeah but uh good times okay it is now 7 40 7 38 7 40 um and I did a little bit of re rearranging a little bit I tried um I think I'm gonna go ahead and I was going to wait to DoorDash my food I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the order just because it is starting to get darker outside and I would rather go chill outside the hotel and wait for my person to give me food um when it's light outside and not when it's dark so yeah but i'll probably go do a phone call or something and chill down on the like little balcony area by the street and just walk and chat until my food gets here so anyway i think i'm going to throw a pair of leggings on and my um, and put my jacket on, um, and order my food, and then when it gets here, I'm gonna go down and get it, and then, uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna take a shower and eat, and just, I think that's pretty much everything I've, I need to prepare, um, so yeah, I think that that's about it. Okay, it's now 8.32 p.m., which makes it 11... 32 p.m. Eastern time. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just finished, made sure to clean everything up. I got everything ready for bed. I laid my clothes out for after my shower. Um, and yeah, I got my, I have a migraine tranquilizer medication. Um, and, um, I took normal migraine because I have had a bit of a sinus headache-ish today. I took that rescue medication. Um, but I have my tranquilizer um, ready to take before I go to bed that will hopefully just extra help me sleep tonight because I really have to sleep. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, now I'm just gonna go and take a shower and listen to a podcast. All right, you guys, it is 9.13 San Francisco time. Um, I have no clue if it's still light outside. It is not. It's not light outside, which is fine, because I'm not planning on going outside. But I took a shower. I feel rejuvenated. I cleaned my glasses. Um. So, cleaned my glasses. 
put on clean clothes. I feel fresh. I feel fresh and good. So I'm just kind of turning on the lights off. Other than that, I think I have everything settled. I do need to get to bed. Um, I took my medication, so hopefully that, uh, or hopefully that starts kicking in soon. It usually takes a little bit, but I figured I'd take it after my shower so I don't start getting sleepy in the shower. I'm hoping that it kicks in faster than it normally does. Um, I'm already a little sleepy, so it works out, but, uh, yeah, so. Other than that, um, yeah, it works out, so. I'm gonna wake up at like 7.30 tomorrow. I'll get some breakfast and finish everything out. But other than that, that's generally about it for tonight. So this has been a really boring day, but I figured I might as well show a recharge day as well. Um, alrighty, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is 7.56 a.m. I'm probably going to leave about 8.30, which puts me there a little bit later. Um, yeah, so. I am just getting up and getting ready to get dressed. Um, I've got to KT tape my knees, put my clothes on, and get some breakfast. Finish packing everything up, and uh, then we'll be ready to head out, so. Yeah. Okay. I am dressed for the day, ready to go pick up the puppy. And I'm gonna open the window now. Let a little, there's not much light, but there's some light, so. A little extra light. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, very cloudy day so far, but it also started out like that yesterday. But anyway, yeah, so. Good times. Trying to find a way that doesn't get light in my glasses. Anyway, I'm going to go get breakfast really fast and then come up and finish packing. Um, so, yeah. I think that's that's the plan. We're gonna go grab something, come back up, we'll eat it, pack, and then get ready to go. I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm not too concerned about it. I just don't wanna run late, like too late for the breeder. So, anyway. Fit with the jacket on. I have my rosebud dog training shirt under this, but the fit. Okay, they didn't have much. I got some yogurt and then some frosted flake cereal. So that's what we got. And I have my tomato soup spoon that I'm gonna go rinse off. It's 8.20 here, it's 11.20 my time. Um, pretty much all I have left to do is just start cleaning up all my electronics, putting them in my bag. And I think that's it. And then I can check out and call my Uber. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm stressed now, but it's fine. I tried to keep, I tried to keep everything super clean for them. So I hope that I did a decent job. I know it's their job to clean up, but like, I don't want to be like a slob, you know? Like, nobody wants that. So, I'm gonna clean up and then go downstairs, check out, and call my Uber. All right, guys. Doing one last look around, but I'm pretty sure I have everything. So, I don't put things in drawers when I come to hotels because if I do that, I will leave things. But, yeah, so. Oh my gosh, this dog carrier is heavy. I put my treat pouch and stuff inside of it and everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm already starting to get nauseous, which is great, but I took nausea medication, so hopefully that does something. Anyway, other than that, I tried to clean up as best I could so I didn't leave a mess for the cleaning lady because I would hate to be her. But yeah, um, now we're getting ready to head to the, head downstairs, check out call my uber and yeah then we will be all ready to go all right guys i made it here safe here's some of the babies i just picked out the puppy it's a green little boy i love him so much i'm so excited to show may
Hey guys, so we're checking in at the In Cabin Pets part. So, all good things, all good things. So far, we made it here safely. Um, and yeah, all the good things. Just hoping everything goes really smoothly. I'm a little stressed about this part, but it's fine. Hey guys, so we got to the airport. A little bit of sleeping. Hopefully he stays sleeping. Um, our flight, it's only 2 p.m. So our flight is not until 6.30. Um, I assume we'll start boarding about 6ish, but yeah, so far, so good. Um, TSA was really easy this time. Um, oh, it was easy last time, but it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, but uh, yeah. Thankfully, uh, had a, it was a pretty simple walk through. Um, just took the puppy out, they swabbed my hands, um, walked through. I didn't even have to go through a metal detector. Um, and yeah, it was really, really great. And they checked it. Um, they only held up a little bit because I had the dog food with me. Um, but all I had to do, they literally just picked it up out of my bag and, and looked at the bag and then were like, okay, it's fine. And then went ahead. Um, I did just see a dog pass by that literally, I thought, uh, I thought somebody had a pig, but they did not. They had a dog, and it was severe, severely tricky damaged. Um, so, train your dogs, guys. Or hire someone to do it. Uh, you blew me up at Res the Dog Training. But anyway, uh, yeah, so other than that, it's been really good. I really haven't been too overwhelmed. Um, he's had a couple accidents that I've had to clean up. Um, but uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. So, so hopefully it stays like that. But uh, yeah, so good times, good times. He is sleeping um, and we'll probably wake him up and, and play with him um, like an hour and a half before the flight, an hour-ish, 30 minutes before the flight, um, just to get everything settled down. But um, yeah, so far, not too bad. I'm just really tired from having to carry him and his little 10.8 pound butt through the airport, not including the weight of the carrier. And uh, along with my suitcase, which is pretty heavy, um, and my tree pouch which is also packed full and really heavy and then my bag of his stuff with my jacket my water um my doritos and my laptop it's also heavy so i'm exhausted i'm definitely gonna need to see a chiropractor when i get back in town but all good things so but so far it's been a really good uh good point so good times i will keep you guys updated um, but as of now, we have, uh, about four hours left to our flight, so I'm just gonna kind of chill, but, guys it is 5 38 so we're about to start boarding um, and baby is sleeping little sparrow is sleeping so so far it's been decent i got uh some work done on my computer um and i woke him up about 4 45 um and let him like played with him for a little bit and then uh and and just to wake him up so hopefully he'll sleep pretty solid on the flight so anyway uh yeah we're heading out soon and we should get we're supposed to depart at uh, boarding starts at like 4 45 we're supposed to depart at like 6 30 p.m and we should arrive in la 
around 8 15 ish p.m as long as everything goes to plan so super excited um but yeah um i hope that you guys are enjoying it so far um and i'll show you the baby of course Is a baby? Oh my god, you're so tiny. I don't know how to act. Alright guys, it's the next day. Sunday. Um, I didn't really film too much last night just because we landed and then it was like super fast of like getting off the plane, getting to my client's car, and getting food and getting home and all the things so um but yeah we made it safely puppy did so good slept the whole flight i'm literally enjoyed and then we got back and gave him a good sized dinner because he hadn't eaten and gave him water so uh yeah so good times good times
Hi, buddy. You just want cuddles. Yeah. Is that all you want? What are you doing? Mommy. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, hi. Hey, guys. It's Tuesday. Um, I'm just chilling. So, anyway. I'm at my client's house. Today she had the baby. Um, and so I spent the afternoon with Romy, um, which is one of my other clients. Um, the, or her other dog who had to retire. But yeah. Um, chronic illness life. Um, I took a shower. Wiped me out. I'm exhausted. So I took a shower, ate, took my medicine finally because I keep forgetting to take my medication. And yeah, now I'm just chilling. I cleaned the house a little bit um, for her just because I know what it's like to have a puppy. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm here to help and I'm going to try and help as much as I can. So uh, yeah, Romy, I put Romy back outside because he kept trying to eat the cat litter um, and. I was trying to eat and couldn't keep him away from the cat litter, so I figured we're gonna change the environment and put him out there where he doesn't have access to it. So, cause or stop that problem for right now. Um, but yes, yeah, so I I tried him off the floor. I tried to scrub it really good, um, and I I cleaned up the couch, folded the blankets. Um, set up the kennel, everything, um, fix the pillows, and reset up the X-Pen, um, for the baby, um, and, yeah, I hung out with Romy for a while, him and I just chilled on the couch, I ate some dinner, I'm just, like, exhausted, and I've just been on my phone for a while, um, but yeah, basically, that's been about it, um, like I said, this vlog's really probably not going to be very interactive for the most part other than like um sorry my mind uh the uh, bad brain fog today physically exhausted mentally exhausted like i said this vlog is probably not going to like you're not going to get very much from this portion of the Nala in the background. What are you doing, Nala? Shh. The window's closed. But yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I put I put Romy back outside and gave the pups some treats. Um, but yeah, I just tried to clean up as much as I could in here. Um... And just organize stuff, you know, puppy life, it's, you know, there's only so much you can, you can do to clean, but most likely I'll probably update you again. I'll probably see you again on Thursday when I fly out, so. But yeah, good times. Uh, other than that, we are all good.
Hey guys, so it's Thursday already and I am heading out back home. So yeah, I'm about to go through. It's 10.20 and I'm about to go through TSA. So. Hey guys, so we board in like 15 minutes and I'm starting to get anxiety. So I took my nausea medication, so hopefully that helps, but uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Service to if you did get checked a bag with us, please line up in the blue lane. If you did check a bag with us, line up in the We are boarding now. Um, Alright guys, I just got on the plane. Um, it is 12.35. Um, we're supposed to land in Houston at like 6-ish something. It's like a three hour flight or whatnot. But um, my autism is not it. So as soon as the plane takes off, I'm going to put my earbuds in. I always like to keep them out for the plane. But I've been ticking really bad because of my autism. So I'm really hoping that stops because it's annoying um but yeah so hopefully it all goes smoothly and there's no issues um yeah hey guys so i'm in houston right now um my flight has been delayed a bunch and I'm ready to be back home. But anyway. We're boarding from three to Yeah. We're finally boarding. It is really late. See, the sun is setting. It's gonna be like 11.30. It was supposed to be 11 when I got in. And it's not gonna be like 11.30 when we get in. It took so long. It sucked at giving directions. I got in the wrong line like three different times because they refused to tell us which one. But boarding, I'm feeling a lot better with my sensory stuff now. So hopefully this flight will be super smooth. But uh, yeah, let's go to Atlanta. I wanna go home. Okay, we're boarded. Um, genuinely, I hope I have space in this flight because I did not have space in the last flight. But if I didn't, oh well. But yeah, I think this is a full flight as well. This is a newer aircraft than all of the other ones I've been on though, so. Hopefully you go smoothie. I am ready to be home. I'm so tired. Um, I'm just losing patience and my back hurts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, my phone's dying and then there's no charger. Oh, there is a charger. I think. There might be a charger. I think there might be a charger. It was not a charger, so I'm gonna get off my phone. But it is 8:20 here, so hopefully we we'll get into. Right. All right, guys. Um, it is the 30th Friday, so I've been back home. I kind of forgot to vlog last night. I didn't remember to like pick up the camera until I was in bed and I was like not doing that but anyway I'm hanging out with my babies we went to the store and I got the new bed of bones today the fish ones which they both think are very appetizing but anyway so, but made it home safely. Last time was really rough. It was so hot everywhere, inside the airport, outside the airport. I was baking alive. Um, and I, we got, I got lost trying to get out. I went to, there were two, like, two, um, like canopy areas for like pick up and drop off and I guess they were both the exact same colored and I was I went to the other one that my mom was at um and our GPS thingies weren't working and whatever so yeah that was fun it took me I didn't get 
We landed about 11.30. I did not get to her until, or I didn't get into the car until about 12.30. It took me an hour to get out and whatever. And my suitcase handle broke and my shoulders were hurting and I was hot and dizzy and it was not it. But thankfully I'm back home and I am good on planes for a while. <laughs> I really didn't mind flying though. It really wasn't a huge deal, but it was just, yeah, it was trying to figure out everything since it really was a little rough, but uh, yeah. So. Anyway, um, yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, if you guys have any questions about traveling with a disability, um, autism, chronic illness, whatnot, feel free to drop in the comments below um but yeah i figured i would just film this one because it was a good experience and i did get a lot of like interesting things because i haven't flown in a while and uh yeah my autism happened to be like super acting up with sensory stuff yesterday so i was ticking a lot for the first half of it once the flight got started i kind of like got into a rhythm and it like calmed down a lot but yeah I also watched Mean Girls for the first time, so that was an experience. Um, I like it, so. But I never watched it, <laughs> so. I figured I was like, I downloaded it before I left, and I was like, I'm gonna watch this. I, I have no clue what it was about when I wa watched it, but it was pretty good, so. Yeah. Educating myself on the classics. I still haven't watched Legally Blonde. That's my next one that I wanna watch. I've seen clips from it, but I haven't gotten to watch it, watch it yet, so. I want to watch that next. We have it on VHS somewhere, but a VHS player that we have in the living room. I don't even think we can connect it to our to our Amazon TV, and it doesn't. Well, it doesn't work. Um, the DVD player and it doesn't even work anymore. So yeah, but, but yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Though I was gonna go to the chiropractor today. I am not because I would have to leave like right now and I just I plan I was going to go when I took Rosie to get her nails done and got back to my house just to come to the realization that I forgot to. yeah but it's okay it's it'll work out so anyway hi babies but yeah I'm just hanging with my dogs my parents left for their 4th of July vacation so it'll just be me and the babies for a while um but yeah if you guys have any other videos you want to see or whatnot I'm going to try and edit this in a timely fashion I will see you guys some other time who knows because I don't vlog like ever but I will make a video eventually so anyway thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit the like button subscribe follow me on instagram at chronically canine you can follow uh oh follow us on tiktok also at chronically canine you can follow my dog training business at rosebud dog training on instagram it is rosebud.dog.training um you can find us at rosebud dog training on tiktok facebook and youtube Instagram, all the good things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I tried to get as much footage as I possibly could. Um, I'm really bad at vlogging, but I tried to, you know, get some some stuff so that you guys could kind of get the system. So tried my best, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I am going to let you guys go now. But I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment down below. Do all the things. Support is much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I will see you sometime in the future. Okay, bye!